Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this moment of inertia problem. Determine the moment of inertia of shaded area on both x and y axis. You see this drawing, this is given as x, this is given as y. This shaded area we will calculate using moment of inertia. So how we will calculate moment of inertia in this drawing? We will split this drawing. You see this is as a triangle, this is rectangle, this given portion is circle. First, we will calculate moment of inertia of rectangle, second we will calculate moment of inertia of a triangle, third we will calculate moment of inertia of circle. First plus second we will add minus of 3. Rectangle and triangle we will add minus of circle. You see we need only shaded portion. So we will minus of circle. First we will see how to calculate moment of energy of rectangle. You see this drawing here to here is given as 200 mm. So this one we will take it as 200 mm. So y axis is given as 300 mm. So we will take this is as a 300 mm. So we will take the center of a rectangle. So this one is x, this one is y. This value we need to calculate, this is x1, this value is y1. What is area of rectangle formula? Area of rectangle is equal to L into B. What is L? L is 300, breadth is 200, equal to 60,000 mm square. Next, what is x1? x1 is equal to 200 divided by 2, equal to 100 mm. So, this value is 100 mm. How we will calculate y1? 300 divided by 2. y1 is equal to 300 divided by 2, is equal to 150 m now we will calculate moment of inertia of a rectangle what is ix1 moment of inertia of a rectangle formula is bh3 divided by 12 equal to what is b b is 200 into what is h h is height this is 300 so 300 cube divided by 12 what is the answer 450 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 Next, we will calculate IY1. What is IY1 formula? HB cube divided by 12. What is H? H is 300. B is 200 whole cube divided by 12. Equal to 200 into 10 power 6 m power 4. Next, we will calculate parallel axis theorem equation. What is the parallel axis theorem equation? I x x1 equal to i x1 plus a1 y1 square. i x1 now only calculated 450 into 10 power 6. What is a1? Area of rectangle we will take it as a1. Plus a1 is 60,000 into y1. You see the y1. y1 is given as 150. 150 square equal to 450 into 10 power 6 plus 1350 into 10 power 6 equal to 1800 into 10 power 6 mm power 4. Now we calculated parallel axis theorem formula of x axis. Now we will calculate y axis i y y 1 equal to i y 1 plus a 1 x 1 square. This one carefully write the formula x means it comes here y y means it comes x i y 1 i y 1 value is 200 into 10 power 6 plus a 1 a 1 value is 60,000 into x 1 square x 1 is 100 so 100 square equal to 200 into 10 power 6 plus 600 into 10 power 6 equal to what comes 800 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 this is i y y 1. Now we calculated moment of inertia of rectangle. Next we will calculate triangle. You see this drawing triangle up to here. So this value 
how much this value this value is 200 so we will write it here here is 200 what is this value this value is given as 150 you see this drawing this value is given as 150 what is this value up to here is 300 mm so up to here is 300 mm now we will take center of the triangle so this is x this is y so we will calculate this this is y1 x1 is up to here to here is x1 so how we will calculate x1 in this case uh, this value we know this value is given as 200 mm so how we will calculate this value this value is 150 divided by 3 so what is x1 value x1 is equal to 200 this 200 you can write it after that this one is plus 150 divided by 3 what comes 250 mm next y1 so y1 you see y1 this one what is full 300 300 divided by 3 equal to 100 mm next what is the area of uh, triangle formula area of triangles equal to of bh of into what is b b is this is b so 150 into height height is 300 equal to this one cancel it 150 150 into 150 22500 mm square now a2 this area of triangle calculator next we will calculate moment of inertia of triangle what is moment of inertia of triangle of x is b h q by 36 what is b b is 150 h is 300 whole cube divided by 36 what is the answer this one 1125 into 10 power 5 mm power 4 next i y2 what is i y2 formula h b cube divided by 36 equal to h is 300 into 150 cube divided by 36 equal to 28125 into 10 power 3 mm power 4 next we will calculate parallel axis theorem equation what is parallel axis theorem equation i x x2 is equal to i x2 plus a2 y2 square this one we will take y1 here we will take y1 right so we will take y1 square i x2 i x2 is 1125 into 10 power 5 this value will take plus a2 what is a2 value 22,500 into what is y1 value 100 so 100 square equal to i x x2 is equal to 3375 into 10 power 5 mm power 4 now we will calculate y parallel axis theorem in y axis i y y equal to i y2 plus a2 x1 square i y2 value 28125 into 10 power 3 plus a2 value is 22500 into so x1 value is 250 so 250 square i y y2 is equal to 1434375 into 10 power 3 mm power 4 now we calculated i x x and i y y value now what is remaining circle now we will calculate moment of inertia of circle you see the circle we will take center this one this is x this is y we will calculate this one this is x 3 we will take this one we will take y 3 up to this distance what is given up to this to this is given as 100 up to here is 150 center to center this distance you see 75 mm radius is 75 mm so this distance is 150 
How we will calculate x3 value in this case? x3 is equal to, you see, x3 is this one, 100. Directly you take 100 mm. What is y3? So here to here only y3. So y3 is equal to 150 mm. What is area of circle formula? Area of circle is equal to pi r square. Pi into what is r value? You see 75 is given. So not diameter, this is radius. 75 square. What is the value? 17671.45 mm square. This is A3. A3 is equal to 17671.45 mm square. Next, we will calculate moment of inertia of circle. What is moment of inertia of circle? Ix3. Pi by 4 r power 4 equal to pi by 4 into r value is 75 whole power 4. Ix3 is equal to 24850489 mm power 4. So, Ix3, I, Y3 also same formula equal to pi by 4 r power 4 is equal to pi by 4 r is 75 whole power 4. So, this answer only comes up. Ix3 or I, Y3 is same answer. Next, we will calculate parallel axis theorem of x axis. I, x, x3 is equal to I, x3 plus a3 y3 square. What is ix3? ix3 value is 24850489 plus what is a3? a3 is 17671.45 into y3 square. y3 value is 150. So 150 the whole square equal to ixx3 is equal to 24850489 plus 39760765 equal to 4224581 and 4 mm power 4. So this is ixx3 value. Now we will calculate iyy3. iyy3 is iy3 plus a3 x3 square. IY3 2485 plus A3 is 17671.45 into X3 is 100 so 100 square equal to what comes 201564989 mm power 4 IYY3 Now we calculated rectangle, triangle, after that circle. Next, what we will do in this case, uh, we will calculate moment of inertia of shaded area. Moment of inertia of shaded area. I x is equal to I x x1 plus I x x2 minus i x x3. What is this one? i x x1 is first we calculate a moment of inertia of a rectangle plus moment of inertia of a triangle minus moment of inertia of circle. i x x1 is 1800 into 10 power 6 plus i x x2 is 337550 zeros minus 4224581814 how much comes ix is equal to 17150481886 mm power 4 so how we will take ix is equal to 1.72 into 10 power 9 mm power 4 now we will calculate moment of inertia of shaded area about y axis. So i y is equal to i y y 1 plus i y y 2 minus i y y 3. What is i y y 1 value? 
800 into 10 power 6 plus 1434375300 minus 2015649881 equal to iy value what comes sir? 2032810011 how we will write 2.03 into 10 power 9 mm power 4 iy This is the moment of inertia of shaded area about x-axis and y-axis. Thanks for watching this video.